So let's say that's our open set. If I were like really good with pictures, I would dot the boundary, right? Because we really think about the boundaries being dotted, right? Because it's like open. Yeah, because it's like open. But I'm not good with pictures. Okay, so let's see. The first thing, let's say this bit right here, gave us this thing right here, right? Which is B sub X right inside of the open set but containing our point and then this thing right here condition we'll call we'll call them condition so condition gave us a basis open set from the other basis kind of in between like nested way down there right and now let's look at this so now observe that u is going to be a subset of the union over all x in u of bx prime, right? Well, look, because if x is in u, then x is in one of these bx primes from above, right? But then if we union them all together, we just get all of u. This is similar to like one of the things from the video, which is like essentially you can build any open set out of basis open sets via this unioning procedure. But now observe that this is a subset of U because it's just a union of a bunch of subsets of U from what we have right here. Yeah, which means U is equal to the union of X in U of BX prime. But then this tells us that U is an element of T2 because from the video result, something is in a topology if and only if it can be written as a union of elements of the basis, right? So this can be written as a union of elements of the basis. That means it's in the topology. But check it out. We started with U, U and T1 and we ended with U and T2. Judgment day.